Welcome in the math party people, Coach Anderson here. Let's go ahead and get to a unit conversion question that may not be, you know, absolutely obvious in terms of how to do it. So feel free, pause the video, give it a shot. I'll count down from five, four, three, two, one, and let's get to work here. So first things first, my party people, what do we wanna do? We wanna know what we want. Let's read that question. So that'll be right over here. How many meters above the ground is the plane? So there's some given information here, but ultimately the question is, again, how many meters above the ground is the plane? So again, stay focused right there. That way you can get started nice and smooth without any anxiety. So boom, how many meters above the ground is the plane? So I'll say blank meters above the ground. All right, so let's go ahead and understand the information that's given to us. That way we can make some sort of plan, right? Let's figure something out. So, okay, a military cargo plane is flying at an altitude of 30,000 feet. The pilot needs to report the altitude to the control tower in meters, given that one inch equals, okay, cool. So that's the given information there, but what's the overall kind of story that's going on? Well, we have a plane that's flying. We're given the altitude. We see that it's in feet. Our final goal is to write how many meters above the ground the plane is. So this is a unit conversion question. You know, I'm looking at what's going on at the beginning and what are we trying to get to at the end. And again, what we have is altitude and feet, and we need to turn that into meters. Sweet. So we know what we want. We know where we're starting from, and we see some information here that we'll incorporate. So we have the connection, unit conversion. So let's write down the 30,000 feet right here. And so how are we going to get that over to meters? Well, we're given that piece of information right here. It's very helpful. We see that one inch equals 2.54 centimeters. So what it looks like we need to do is we need to go ahead and turn 30,000 feet into however many inches it is. Because once we have it in inches, because again, one inch equals 2.54 meters. So we can then turn the inches into centimeters and then once we have centimeters, you know, with the metric system, we can go from centimeters to meters to kilometers and all that good stuff. So that, once we have it here, then we're good to go to then turn it back into just meters. So it's not going to be a direct path. Take a look. It's not like we're going to say, hey, 30,000 feet, bam, one shot. You know, that's what makes this problem a little more difficult. And that's why I appreciate it. And you should too. So with that, let's go ahead and get the work in. Let's turn the feet into inches. How do we do that first? Well, that'll be by multiplying by 12. Remember, one foot equals 12 inches. You're given that right over here in case you needed it. So we have, again, for every foot, we multiply by 12. And let's go ahead and do that. So this is going to be pretty straightforward, actually, because 3 times 12, right there, that'll end up being 36. And then we just count all of the zeros that we have left over. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So 360,000 inches is what we have. Now from here, what do we do? From here, remember, we are given the information that's very necessary. We see that again, one inch right over here, one inch equals 2.54 centimeters. So I know the big question at this point is, hey coach, am I supposed to multiply or divide the 2.54? Well, here's the thing. You see that for every inch you have, you have to multiply it by 2.54 to get to 2.54, right? One times 2.54 will get you 2.54 centimeters. So for every inch that you have, you're multiplying by 2.54 to get the number of centimeters. We already have the inches. So again, we'll multiply all of that by 2.54. So let's zoom on in here. 360,000. And to be honest with you, we can just go ahead and say, hey, let's take these four zeros. Let's move them off to the side. We'll bring them back at the end to make our lives easier. So what we'll do is we'll just put the 2.54 above. That way we only have to work with two place values instead of writing out 360,000 and then dealing with three with this. So it's a smart move to try to deal with less whenever you can. So we have four times six. That'll end up being 24. Five times six is 30. Carry the two is 32. And then we have two times six, that'll be 12. And then we carry the three, that'll be 15. 
next up put a zero because now we're dealing with the next place value that three right over here so we'll have four times three that'll be 12. then we have five times three that's 15 carry the one that's 16. and then we have two times three that'll be six carry the one is seven so look at that pretty smooth and then we just add here to get four four eleven and nine we had two decimal places over here so that'll be two decimal places back. But when we bring these zeros back, a little bit of mental math, just a quick little thing that you should know how to do. When we're bringing these zeros back, we're basically gonna say, okay, this zero cancels out this, this next zero cancels out that. So we're only gonna bring two of these zeros to say nine, one, four, four, zero, zero. That is what we have. But again, don't get a little too complacent here. That's going to be 914,400 centimeters. So we're almost done. Don't get too excited because you might look at this and you might say, oh, wait, that looks like something I have here. Be careful. Be careful. So with that, how do we turn centimeters into meters? Well, what we should know, and it's already listed for us here again, is that one meter equals 100 centimeters. So when you ask yourself, hey, which way am I supposed to be going, multiplying or dividing? Pretty straightforward here, because you're trying to go from centimeters to meters. 100 to 1, you're dividing by 100. So cool, I'll divide by 100, or just take away two of those zeros right there, and we just end up having 9144, and we're good. 9,144 meters would be the answer, and we're all set. Now, I know that was a lot, I'm a part of you, but I know that was a lot, but I want you to let me know in the comments here how this made you feel. If this is one that you want to see more of, more difficulty like this, or how this helped you and what you feel like you need to work on. Again, I'm Coach Anderson, always happy to help you out. Let's keep the party going. And with that said, let's ace the ASVAB. Remember to join free classes, details in the description. Peace.